We are back with Naomi Watts, who's on a mission to create more meaningful conversations around menopause. Yeah, more than two million women reach this milestone each year, impacting sexual health, brain health, and the list goes on and on and on. It's so exciting. Welcome, Naomi, Thank what you're you. doing. It's just incredible. Thanks. I think bringing it out into the open, having this conversation that women can feel open about. Why do you think it's mm -hmm. taken women so long to get open about that? I mean, it's a mystery when you think that you know, half the population always went into menopause <laughs> yeah. and yeah. will continue to. I don't know. I think it's down to it's been that way with women's health all, at every point. You know, there's yeah. always been shame attached to it, which is just uh, mind boggling. But the good news is, is now this, uh, this conversation is open and women are coming out like screaming and yelling about it and really <laughs> ready to ready. move yeah. through yeah. that shift. You went through uh, perimenopause pretty early on in your 30s. Yeah. You must have been like, what on earth is happening to yes. my body? And I think no matter what stage you go into perimenopause, yeah. you are wondering that because yeah. you're wondering, is this normal? Do I have a cold? Is something, am I moody? Yeah. What's, I have a cold? Cold? <laughs> What's happening? A big cold. Uh, that no, never ends. In reverse. Um, yeah, hot. I, um, I basically didn't know what was happening and it happened right at the precipice of me wanting to start a family, oh. meeting the right partner and um, yeah, so that collision of like the panic of am I going to be able to indeed produce children um, as well as being told you're you're going into early menopause uh -huh. like how you know I just was panicking and filled with shame um, yeah. and the term perimenopause wasn't even no. yet known or yeah. I certainly and my doctor wasn't using it he just gave me a blood test because I wasn't falling pregnant and and he said the results suggested that I was going to be going into early menopause I did speak to my mother about it uh -huh. um, she had told me that she'd gone in early uh -huh. um, at 45 but I knew no other details around it I didn't mm -hmm. know that there was years of suffering leading up to that I didn't know that there was a multitude of symptoms can you tell us the symptoms yeah, just so that anybody out there that may I think mean, they're in... uh, for me I was definitely I had night sweats yeah from for years yeah before yeah. that and you know when you go to the doctors um, and you get you fill out those lists uh -huh. and I would tick night sweats and they would be like well have you been any around TB <laughs> <laughs> Did Why you, didn't anyone think that it could be this? Man, was could your doctor possibly, a man? Was your doctor a man? Well, I, it was a few doctors because, you know, yeah. when you're an actor, yeah. you have to do different physicals yeah. every time you, you go and do a job. But, yeah, so there's so much confusion and so little information. And I think there. there's so much confusion because when women hear the term menopause, they think, oh, that happens in your 60s or 70s. Correct. They don't think about it in your 40s Absolutely or 50s. Not. And they also think about it's the end of my life in a way. And mm -hmm. you've just gotten married. Yes. And you're kind of in the, the beginning. prime of your life, mm -hmm. which is just like to say you can go through menopause but it, it can be the beginning of life it can be and I think that's the important work that we are doing and shifting the narrative because mm. it's certainly not the end we know we're living so much longer now and so why shouldn't we set up our health better and 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 you know if you are inquisitive and you now are in the position where you can ask your doctor the right questions we're equipped better now that the education is firing up and can we just say you're so passionate about this that you've created an entire company yes. with yes. products stripes it's stripes. on my counter we've girl. earned our <laughs> yes. stripes yes, lady. yes. yes. Yeah. that's, good. that's, that's really good. That, that was the naming behind it because yeah our cumulative experiences matter they mm -hmm. they amount to something and you know we have more confidence I think being on the other side of it and mm -hmm. I looking at the conversation you were having with your daughters and I mean they are so evolved and so educated mm -hmm. which is fantastic but a lot of women in their 30s have that panic of yes. the, all these things mm -hmm. that they have to check off the list. Right. And I think we're now at the point where we're, we've run households. We're, we're, we um, threw out the list. We, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the list we, is like, shredded. Yeah, and our self-esteem is in a better mm -hmm. place because of it. We can feel more confidence and more... Mm. You know, um, like we're capable of going through the ups and downs. Mm -hmm. We recover. We mm -hmm. know we get through it. Naomi, yeah. thank you so, thank so you. much. Thank we're happy you. you came to visit with us.